Hello, my name is Thorsten. Um, I want to show you today the Liabird audio processing platform, which is this guy. And I want to show you also how you can use this in a Dante network, which I have set up for you here. I will explain to you later a little bit what is Dante. First of all, I have to say I'm German. I would call it Dante. Therefore, I'm sorry. I say all the time Dante. And the official name which I will use is you Dante, like your Dante. And this is the audio processing platform, Liabird APP, audio processing platform. And everything is based on an STM Cortex M7 board. This is a complete setup with everything, with all the interfaces you need, maybe in your environment in your studio at home, AS3, SPDIF, Tuslink and all the stuff, line in, line out, microphones, all the stuff. This is another Cortex M7 platform, actually the later, the latest one. This is an older version, this is a newer version. The newer version has a larger display, larger memory and all the stuff. This will be the replacement for this stuff. And I will show you how to use this guy in order to listen to a Dante network. Okay, let's start. What's Dante or you Dante? It's actually network based audio. You don't need any cables to mess with any cables. Maybe you know this one XLR connectors or SPDIF connectors, RCA connectors, all the stuff. Most of the time you have different cables in a big studio environment or in a broadcast studio they mess around with all these wires, all the stuff. And what they do, they say, why I cannot use my Ethernet switch and my Ethernet cables like this one, right? And let's connect or hook up an audio network just using Ethernet cables, Ethernet infrastructures what you use already for your IP network, for your entire in intranet, for your computer network. And the beauty is, and i show you later, there's also power over Ethernet. You don't need any power supply. It means your switch runs just with the power coming via this Ethernet cable as well. It means all your audio equipment, e even this guy, i show you later, will run without the power supply. The power comes via the Ethernet cable. Okay. Okay, this is part two of the demonstration. What I have done is, here is a audio Dante, you know, I call it Dante, uh, setup. What it is, it's actually Ethernet cables, an Ethernet switch, a Dante receiver, in this case it's a Focusrite RedNet AM2, which is a network to yeah, analog audio output and you need also a source and oh I have not mentioned this Dante is developed, provided, licensed and everything by a company called Audinate Audinate or Audinate and they provide also a virtual sound card called DBS Dante Virtual Sound Card that means you can turn your PC into a Dante player and then the audio goes over the network via your Ethernet cables where all your IP traffic is also going to to a Dante receiver and then this receiver can be everything, it can be network audio out to AS3, SPDIF or whatever, in this case it's an output to the headphone which is connected here and if you play the audio you just start the DVS the digital uh, so digital the Dante virtual sound card which is an application which you can buy and license and it turns your Windows PC based audio into a Dante network player 
and you use any application in this case I use WinM and you play the audio and it should come out on the Dante receiver in this case it does not I don't know why let's start again Okay, I tried to figure out why I cannot hear my audio. I think the problem was that the player was not running. On your receiver, on this guy, the focus right, RedNet AM2, you should see the power is okay, network is okay, and there's also an audio signal running. Means there's audio in the network. This guy is lightning. And this gives you the sound which I play from the PC we had an Ethernet network to an Ethernet receiver and it comes out as a headphone output okay the next one I want to show you okay you play your audio okay let's start the play again Comes out, network is fine, audio is running in the network. And now the question is okay, I want to listen to this, I want to monitor my audio. Can I hook up another device just in order to yeah, get the same audio stream to decode or whatever and to listen to it as well? Yes, you can. What you do is you grab the Lionbird audio application platform which is based on an STM Cortex M7 board or on the Lyabird app hardware setup which is the complete one this is this one and I use here now the latest new one STM board which has also an Ethernet interface a lot of analog audio stuff headphone out and all the stuff RCA out, SPDIF out and all this stuff. And what I do is I let the network running and I plug in my Ethernet cable and because of the power over Ethernet it comes up without any power supply. Pretty cool, right? What you need is just in your Ethernet network you need some PoE injectors, it means they inject some DC power which is going with the Ethernet cable and so that the portable device can get the power via the Ethernet cable. It's running, no power supply, nothing. And this guy runs a firmware which has also the capability to figure out where is the Dante audio running in my e Ethernet network. If I press Dante here, it should give you, okay, this is the IP address of my device and here is the Dante audio stream I have found in the network. And you see already here is the spectrum of your audio. If you don't trust me that it's really audio, I take my headset, which is this guy, right? And I plug it in on the headphone output here. And what you hear is... Okay, the first step I want to show you is your network is running, your Dante network is running, you have the audio, you can listen to it. And one in case, instead of a headphone, I want to send this to another device like based on SPDIF. You want to send to SPDIF, Toslink, another device, an amplifier, or whatever. What you can do is you take the Lyabot app the audio processing platform and this guy plays already SPD output 
I need, wait a second, I need a power plug supply for this guy because mm -hmm. this is not running on power over ethernet. That means I need a power supply, power supply. Okay, power up this guy. Okay. Okay, it comes up. Then you have the option to choose here between different interfaces. I select the SPDIF, 48 kilohertz. And I use an RCA cable, which is used for the SPDIF connection. Yeah. Let me resync the audio. Sounds crazy. I have still a problem with my clocking, but I will solve it, no problem. And you use here on this guy the RCA output, which is SPDIF out. That means all the network audio, actually all audio coming in to this guy is forwarded to SPDIF out. That means you get your digital audio on an RCA connector, on an SPDIF connector. And you plug it in on this guy. Oops. Okay. That means this guy is running. It takes the audio. It decodes the audio. It displays the FFT. It forwards all the audio to the SPD output. And then it goes to another device. Which is actually my Liarbird app platform. And then Then it comes out on this device. That means you see here already the volume meter and the spectrum. And I can plug in my headphone on this guy. And the audio comes out on this device. You can imagine that the intention is. Ah, my touch screen. Okay. If I put. If you put wires on your touch screen, then don't be confused. That means the final Liarbird app audio application platform, the Liarbird app, will support Ethernet audio as well for your UDANTE network. And then you receive your audio from any existing Ethernet based audio network. And you can listen to it. You can take part in a Dante or U Dante network, like this guy is doing already here. You can just imagine all the interfaces available on this board. It has so many. It has all the different kinds, like SPDIF, Toslink, AS3 input. It has also a clock generator with a high accurate PLL so that this guy can also act as a clock master actually in a Dante network and then you can listen to it or you can also process and the idea is that this guy is not just a player it's more an engine for audio processing you have a lot of features like you can add a lot of audio filters, you can say, okay, I want to block the DC, I want to boost the bass, the low frequency, I want to have an equalizer, and there's also a dynamic range extender. And then if you play back, if you receive the audio from the network and you play it back to the network, you can have an engine running inside the network, which will improve your audio quality that means you can change the frequency range you can change the dynamic range or sometimes we think about to implement an AS3 limiter that means most of the time you don't use the full swing of the digital audio codec but if you see there's some header on free you can make use of it you extend the audio and then the dynamic range will increase increase okay um, this is the demonstration of the Liarbird audio application platform, the Liarbird app, working in a running Dante network and everything what you will get is the UDante
based on the Liabird app, which is actually just an embedded processor. There is no need for heavy equipment. It means every, everything is quite small, quite portable, even running with some, without a power supply, and it's very versatile. Okay. Okay, the last part of the demonstration is Is it really Dante? You Dante? Dante? Whatever? Can I think really it's the network audio running through? Okay, the approach to prove it is What happens if I would disconnect my audio network? Let's, guy, let's say this guy is running Playing, this guy is playing. This one is listening. Right? Okay, what happens if I cut the connection? Okay, let's do it. We take the Dante receiver, we remove the Ethernet connect cable, and you see nothing happens. It's really quiet now. It means there's no audio running. And the Audinate protocol stack is pretty cool. It can discover and it can also realize and monitor and it will see, oh, okay, I lost the network connection and it will reestablish a new one. Most of the time it comes up with a different IP address, different, maybe, maybe not different IP address because it's the same network. It's a different UDP port. Okay, this guy is playing already. You see, and then, then this guy is also back, but there's a small problem in the DBS, in the Dante Virtual Sound Card. This guy does not support really a lost connection. What you have to do is you stop the service, and you start again, and then the network should come up again. Where is it? the DBS, down to virtual sound card, this guy is back, you see, that look is fine, the signal is there, you can hear the sound coming out of this guy, and also this guy has recovered, and it sees, oh no, the network audio is running on a different UDP port, and it can still monitor, and it comes still out of this platform here and it will make sure that your audio stream is really running well in your system okay the only thing what I have to mention is this guy is a passive listener it means it just listens on an ethernet network it figures out where is the Dante running Where's the audio stream? What is the audio, audio format? Let me make it brighter. What is the audio format? But because everything is based on Ethernet IP switching, that means if you have a real switch in your network, not the same traffic is going out of your network here on the Ethernet port. And most of the switches support a feature called port mirroring. So that you can say, okay, send all the traffic which comes in on this port, which goes to my audio device. Let it come out also on another port. And so that the traffic goes also to this guy. And this guy can realize, oh, okay, there's a Dante audio stream. And I can hook up the connection to it and I can connect to it. That means I know the IP address, I know the UDP port. I know the audio format, I know, I know, I see how many channels are there, I know the format is a 60 bit, 40, 24 bits, and then I can take the audio frames and I decode and I forward to any of the output interfaces available on this board, which is, which is headphone or SPDIF. It can be also potentially USB, that means this guy acts like a USB sound card. And then you can 
extract the audio from the network and you send it to another device which you have maybe already in place and you want to hook up on a Dante network. Okay.